Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming a to check it ready with me. For everybody who don't know who I am, my name is Diamond. Um, I can go by day or die, it's just something that just people call me. But welcome to my channel. I posted on Instagram and I just want to thank everybody who participated. I know it was only about like uh, three or four people who actually did uh, participate in the Q&A for me. And yeah, so thank you to the people who, you know, participated. And yeah, today I'm just gonna be doing my makeup. I'm just gonna be chatting about what's been going on. Cause I've been gone for about two years now, two going on three years. And we're just gonna get into that and why I've been gone and stuff. So today what I'm, um, what I'm going with is a milk primer. I'm gonna just put it all over my face, but real quick, I'm about to just pull up all of the, the questions. It's all on my phone. So basically, I've been gone off of YouTube, and I guess I'll just talk about this before I get into the questions. Um, yeah, I've been gone from YouTube, and it's only because I feel as though my content wasn't where I wanted it to be. I'm just putting the pump on the back of my hand. But yeah, I feel as though um, my content wasn't where I wanted it to be. I feel like I wasn't really getting enough views that I wanted to get. And I'm my mirror's right here, so that's why I'm looking down, so I, I can look at myself. But yeah, I feel like my stuff wasn't getting, like, my content wasn't where I wanted it to be, like, at all. Um, I feel like it could have been way better. Um, and I feel like I wasn't really getting anywhere, you know? That's for real cool, eh? But yeah, my content wasn't really getting anywhere that I wanted it to be. And, just, you know, I feel like I could have did better for everybody. And then, you know, mentally, I feel like I wasn't there. I was going through, like, a lot of mental things. I just, I feel like I gave up, you know. But now, I'm just like, I thought about it. And it didn't take me long to, like, actually initially think about it. Two weeks, two, three weeks to say, like, you know, hey... I want to get back on YouTube. I want to start filming again. I want to bring out content, you know? Like, I have things to say. I have things that I want to show you guys. You know, things that I've learned because I feel like the makeup that I do now is it's probably still the same in the cringy videos that I made before, but it's not like where I want it to be. My monitor over here, so if you see me looking over here, like I'm looking at my monitor to make sure it's okay. So now I'm about to get started with the questions. My first question, I don't even, I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I never really did. Let me go on your page. Yadi, Yadi, Yadi. I'm sorry. Uh, so my first question from her, she said, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, like I see myself like growing my business more. First of all, I'm about to zoom in. All right, so I just wanted to zoom in so y'all can see what I'm doing like see what I'm doing a little bit more I'm gonna just like pause and like tell y'all what item I'm using I guess I'm using the Maybelline ultra brow ultra slim it looks like this this one is deep brown and this one is um, black brown and I take the black brown and I allow my brows out just to carve it out and I take the other um, like the lightest brown and I fill my brows in but yeah basically and what was I saying in five years I want to say that I see myself um furthering my business if you guys don't know I started a lip gloss business called what by Diamond Brianna it clicked in my head like Diamond why don't you just start your own business and I'm just like okay you know I'm gonna just start my own business for real, that's exactly what's going through my head. And I did it, you know? That's what I really wanna do, just further my business. I was thinking about opening up a um, beauty supply store because honestly, I've never, I haven't seen, I'm not saying that there aren't people out here who's doing this, but I personally haven't seen a black woman in Cleveland, Ohio, who opened up a hair store. Like, I haven't seen it yet. I'm not saying that there aren't any, but I haven't seen it. 
you know, and I would like to be like one of the first people who actually decide to do it. But it's really just a thought. Like I'm not saying like, oh, I'm gonna do it. Da, da, da. Now my brows is lined out with the darkest color, and I'm about to fill them in with this one. But um, yeah, that's pretty much where I see myself in five years. I see myself getting my associate's degree in business management. I'm actually um, trying to work on that right now because I got my financial aid taken away because I don't know if anybody else went through this, but I was on academic probation because I dropped my class at the wrong time. So instead of ju them just dropping it like the right way, they just gave me an F. Um, yeah, they just they just gave me an F and it dropped my GPA super duper low and I didn't even know I was on academic probation. And then I'm losing my financial aid and I can't afford college. But then I, someone told me that I can just fill out um, a form for SAP. And uh, I can do that, try to get my financial aid back and get back into school. So that's where my process is right now. I probably won't be graduating until the next uh, two years. But I'm still excited about it. I'm working on it. That's something that I I want to do for myself and for my future. All right, so now I'm about to carve my brows out. I'm um, just use my LA Girl. I swear by this stuff. I'm gonna just use my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and um, it's in the shade Fawn. My flat brush looks like this. My next question is, what made you start selling lip gloss? This is from Lovely underscore Shan Shanji. Um, I actually know her, but like, thank you for participating, girl. I appreciate it. All my life, I've loved lip gloss. Like, it was one of them things where it was just like, you know, why not? Like, you love lip gloss. You love, you know, how it makes your lips look, you know. Just make it yours. Make it how you want it to be. Like I said, lip gloss, usually when I got lip gloss, it was like super duper um, thick, sticky, or it'll be super duper sheer. Like, the only lip gloss, I'm not even gonna fake. I'm not even gonna fake. Bath and Body Works, their lip gloss, like their lip gloss is A1. Like, I want my I want my quality in lip gloss to be like theirs. Like, I feel like the smoothness and the thickness of my lip gloss matches theirs, but I still haven't figured out how to make my lip gloss taste good. Got the smell down, got the smoothness down, got all of that down. I just have not figured out how to, you know, get it to taste good like i i want my lip gloss to taste good so now i'm about to go in with my real techniques brush the the Lux concealer brush it looks like this and i'm about to just blend out the edges and um on top of my brow and i'll be right back um so i can start applying the rest of my face so yeah i'm just going in with my fenty beauty uh foundation this is the soft matte longwear foundation and it's in the shade 445 i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's in the shade 445 and i'm just moving on with the next question this is from underscore shay dot marie she says how did you learn to do makeup so good and heart out emoji so first of all thank you so much i really appreciate it um you guys like Y'all make me want to get better at the things that I do. Um, if I haven't said it before, yes, I am a makeup artist. So I get this question. It just squirted all over my nose. But I get this question a lot. Um, before I go into it, I'm just, I do like two lines over here, two lines over here, and I do like one line up here. That's just what works for me. Practice, 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 practice makes perfect always practice makes perfect i stand by that if you have trouble with anything even if it's you know drawing makeup driving any of that practice just keep practicing i watch videos i've watched Aaliyah j i've watched jackie i've watched Alyssa. i've watched every single uh person makeup guru that i actually like i feel like they inspire me to who I wanted to be and the quality of makeup I wanted to do. Um, I'm gonna go back in with um, the concealer and I'm gonna just start highlighting my face, my highlighter points. But 
practice makes perfect. Watch YouTube videos, watch other people. I still watch people to this day because I still feel like the quality of my work isn't where I want it to be, you know, and you know, all the compliments I do get on my makeup, I still feel as though it's not where it could be now, if that makes sense. This is like one of the things that go back to the question that I just had. So I never knew how to contour a nose and lately I've been getting people like clients that be wanting their nose contoured and you know I'm like okay you know I'll do it but I feel like I don't do it right and I feel like they know I don't do it right. It's only been like when I say that it's only been like one or two people but you know even with them one or two people, I feel like I didn't, like I tried my best. I did what I, I watched videos on, but it still, I felt as though it wasn't there. So, um, I like to let my concealer dry down a little bit before I start blending it out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go in with my Fenty Mastic. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. Um, it's an espresso. It looks like this. Hold on. It looks like this. And I like to just contour my face with this. Um, sometimes, like I said, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I will go straight in with powder. Um, that's just something that I've done. So I'm just go back on my phone. Um, my last question is what inspired you to start doing makeup? This is from. Nikayla underscore Dawn. I don't know. I just like the look of what makeup gave. Like, makeup, first of all, before makeup, I drew. Okay. I I like to draw. I don't draw anymore. I probably lost that talent. But I I like to draw like a lot. Or liked. <laughs> Has to. I feel like when I figured out makeup was like drawing like makeup was like was like painting in a way it was like one of the things that just fit because I love makeup and then on top of that it seems like there's a freaking fly in here and I'm upset now but yeah it just you know it's like art it's just art like I love it I love the art around makeup you can do anything you want to your face like anything you want if you want to turn yourself into the butterfly you can if you want to do a soft glam makeup you can grungy all, all of that like you can do it that's literally the best part i think i'm contouring my nose right but um i feel like yeah i feel like that's the best part of doing that like i feel like that's the best part of doing makeup and then on top of that you know I can do it on myself you can make yourself look prettier like you can enhance your beauty that's it's that's something that really sits right with me like that's something that really sits right with me and just the fact that I can do it I can do it on other people and make other people feel real nice and beautiful and stuff like that I really just kind of turn my nose right like I cannot get over this I'm really happy right now but yeah um <laughs> I don't know it's just something that it makes me happy like I know that that sounds like so like oh everybody says it just makes me happy like it but it really do make me happy though oh and when I blend out anything I try to do the, mo the dabbing motion then the sweeping motion just because like when you sweep it smears when you dab it keeps it in place more so that's just a little pointer for anybody who was like wondering what I'm doing. Honestly, I'm about to just use some of my contour stick and just put two lines right here and right underneath my nose. I learned this trick. I forgot her name, but I learned that. And under my lip to make it like stick out a little bit more. Like that. It's like a, like a pop. 
help type thing. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what, what inspired me to do makeup, honestly. And at first, I didn't even think that makeup was even my dream at first. Like, I honestly thought my dream was graphic design. I love everything about graphics, technology, all of that. And realistically, you know, all of my life, I've always been around makeup, even if it was just even if it was just like what's an example like a lipstick in my grandmother's room when I was a kid like my my dad would always be upset with me because um uh, not upset well he'd be upset with me because I put it on but since I'm a kid you know he'll be upset with you know my grandmother because it's like why is you letting her put put this on her face <laughs> but you know it's things like that that I be thinking about and it's like, well, dang, like I, I didn't think about it. Like I actually used to be playing with makeup all my life. I love the the thought of putting red lipstick on my lips. I love the thought of, um, you know, just, I don't know, just making myself look pretty, making myself look beautiful, like more pretty, enhance my beauty. Like I said earlier, like I just, I don't know. I love the, I love the thought of it. I love all of it. I'm just going to use the same um, brush and just blend out my contour on my forehead. I'm really bad at explaining. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm really bad at explaining. So <laughs> I'm going to just blend out my contour with the same brush. Usually I go on top of everything. Like I go back on top of everything a second time with a beauty blender, but because all of my blenders are dirty and I am way too lazy right now to wash them, I'm just gonna use a brush. It all comes out the same, just not as seamless as I would want it to. is it for the question so thank you for everybody who um participated in the questions i really do appreciate it like a lot because y'all didn't have to hey y'all so i'm gonna stop the chit chat part right here but i'm gonna let the rest of the video play i just want to thank y'all so much for watching like comment subscribe for more content bye